Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps me uh, and my members know when I'm posting videos. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey. Well, first of all, um, this is just a short little preview of what you're going to see in this next video right behind this one. Uh, yesterday on October 4th, it was a beautiful Wednesday uh, morning and afternoon. We had temperatures in the 80s and uh, of course in the fall, we, you know, that's uh, Indian summer up in these parts. And uh, our friends from the uh, Keto Rewind family, Deborah and Tom, Jessica's, Jessica's mom and dad, came down all the way from New Hampshire about an hour and a half drive just to uh, say hi to me and do a little bit of an interview and ask me a few questions. and. We've been wanting to get together for quite a while there, and now at least they know where she lives now, so next time we get together, I'll be driving down to go see her and Tom and do an interview at her house, and uh, maybe maybe next summer we can go to their camp and say hi to them. And just for saying something about maybe coming into Lemister with their mom and dad and saying hi to me that way too. But it's been an absolute pleasure um, helping you guys out and getting out there and getting healthy and uh, continue on this, making my uh, weight loss journey a success and continue to this day. And... Uh, you know, it's Thursday morning and the sun's starting to come out after a rough night of fog in the city there and uh, I'm getting ready to go to Market Basket and hopefully I can get some of that pork belly I've been after and uh, then uh, also what's going on is we had a fire yesterday afternoon. I drove by a street and the street was fine and I came back the opposite way and the next thing I know um, it was, uh, you know, the house had burnt and they had fire truck got out of the control they were there and then all of a sudden over the course of the night last night around 1 30 in the morning the they heard a general alarm go on again about three and it was a three alarm and this time the three four different towns came in and helped put out the fire i don't know how bad it is this morning until i go down there but i'm going to go down there grab out some photography with my other camera and then i'm going to go to market basket and uh do some jambalaya cooking and uh, do a couple recipes for the YouTube channel and, uh, you know, continue on with my weight loss journey. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be, uh, this video you're about to watch, I'm going to set it up as a premiere so you can uh, ask me any questions over the course of the premiere. And there was two specific questions I just wanted answered. Uh, one was like, uh, what do you do when you're having a bad month or a bad week? How do you go about getting your body back into ketosis? And uh, is this lifestyle sustainable? And do you are you planning on staying on keto the rest of your life and and or low carb weight loss journey? I've done everything on, as far as getting my weight off. I, I've been very successful. Uh, losing 140 pounds, 145 pounds now. You know, I, at my heaviest I ever weighed was 410 pounds. So I saw it. And again, I, I mentioned that Deborah had I not lost my weight, I wouldn't have been here today talking to you guys, gals, about it. Um, and I am very spiritual. Spiritual. I, I, I believe in this, the, the divine spirit. And, and uh, you know, I talk about that in many of my videos and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so, and I'm, and I'm learning a lot about myself and about how to do videos and all that stuff, all that good stuff there to help you guys out. Again, if you live locally, I'm always looking for a walking partner. Um, and, you know, I'm here as a coach to help you guys get healthy. And if you if you want my help and you need my help, just feel free to reach out and ask me because I'm here to help you guys. Remember, I'm not going to give you no medical advice, but... You know, I, I can help you to get healthy, and uh, we're going to start doing some clean keto meals and stuff like that, and I'm still going to put out some regular keto meals and some carnivore meals in between, and, uh, you know, definitely got to just keep going with the flow, because I enjoy, uh, you know, getting uh, you motivated and uh, cooking up some holiday meals, because we got, we got that big one coming up next month. And uh, I'm going to show you how to cook a turkey breast, and uh, which you can have with the turkey breast besides as a uh, all the carby foods as a replacement, so you can keep your carbs down at a respectable number, so you don't feel as if you're you know, you're losing out on the uh, your favorite meals. But be that as it said, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Just go right into the video, and again, I'll be watching the chat type. And if you want to ask me any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. And I'd like to thank Deborah and Tom for coming down and. Um, you know, uh, you know, and meeting me because you know this was a uh, this was a fun day for me, and I'm sure it was for them too. But anyways, and thank you, Jess, again for uh, all that you've done to your community, your Facebook support group, uh, Keto Remind support, 
and your YouTube channel, Aikido Rewinds. Jesse's got a ton of great videos up there, all designed to help you guys out to lose weight. Please go over there and support Jess and uh, go over there and uh, just say, Ron, I, I just came over from Ron's channel and I want to thank you for your videos and thank him for helping me out and stuff like that because that really helps her, you know, she's already there with the monitoration there, but it, you know, in, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to, you know, it's, it, it helps them to continue on with their, their channel and, uh, you know, because she's a busy mom with a, with a nutty household and, you know, you know, and she takes a lot of pride and dedication putting out these great videos for us to enjoy. And uh, so, yeah, go over there, support her, and uh, go along to the Facebook page. And don't forget about my Facebook page and my Facebook page, Ryan's Keto Cafe Support. You're welcome to post uh, anything regarding weight loss. No no drugs, though, okay? And uh, no other side stuff other than that, because I will take it down. And, uh, you know, and... Uh, yeah, and of course I'm doing the road videos now, so let me know if you want to see any more of the road videos or, or I can just put them up on a new channel. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have an amazing day. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. It's good stuff to think. Hi guys, welcome to, uh, how are we going to say this? Do, do I say my channel name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys and welcome to uh, Ron's Weight. Ron, no. <laughs> I think it's Ron's Keto Cafe, yeah, I, I, isn't it? I, I know it no, is. But don't I, include I, any I, bloopers, I, I, though. I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Hi guys and welcome to my channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, share, and consider subscribing to the channel? It definitely helps my channel grow. And today I got two very special guests with me. I got uh, my friends from Keto Rewind, and this is Jess's mom, Deborah, and this is her father, Tom. And uh, they came all the way down from New Hampshire to see me today at uh, the Main Street Cafe, and we had a good little chat this morning. And uh, we're here to just say hi, and Deborah's going to ask me some questions. And uh, if Tom wants to step in and ask me anything, we'll be fine. And uh, I'll do the best I can in answering them. And uh, again, we're not a medical doctor. We don't make any medical claims. We're not taking any medical advice, and we don't give any medical advice. I know Deborah probably could, but I'm not. <laughs> and because uh, I don't want to get myself on a sling with YouTube. And uh, so, Jess, I finally got a chance to meet your mom. She's a sweetheart. And Tom, we, we all talk the same language. And, and we're right there. We're pretty all pretty close to my our ages. And uh, we're not going to say how old or young we are, you know. But we, you're only I am as old. not the oldest. We're, we're, we're only as old as we feel. And uh, I keep telling everybody that any day you wake up and plant your feet on the ground, you're having a good day. So be that as I said, I'm going to let uh, Deb ask me any questions that she want to ask me. And I'll do the best I can in answering them. Okay, it's great to be here. Great to finally meet Ron. We've been trying to do this for a couple of years, and yes. life gets in, in in the middle of it, yeah, so we've had to postpone it. But today we finally made it happen. And um, actually, I'm coming with a couple of questions from Jess and Key to Rewind, and um, because they're, I think that they're questions that can, well, we've all had them, and I think we all can use a little help and get another perspective on the answers. And we're really happy to be here, okay. and we hope that the answers that we provide. Um, helps someone, helps put a light bulb on in someone's mind and how to go forward. And um, Keto, uh, just to reiterate, Keto Rewind Dad has lost about 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. I've lost 150. And Ron's about 145, 145. now. So, so, so wait a minute. So I'm 145. You're 60. Uh -huh. So that's 205. And I'm, one, I'm 150. 305. 355. 355. So between the three of us, we lost two people. Yeah, they're, all, they're behind <laughs> us. Yeah, they're behind us. <laughs> well, they're over there having donuts or something inside, exactly. the, coffee, inside exactly. the coffee shop. Exactly. And we've all maintained the loss yeah. for years. I mean, I, I've been um, maintaining it now for about 13 years. Keto Rewind Dad about 10, and Ron for a good three. Three, three years three. now, yes. So we're not experts because you know what? You never really own this, and it's always going to be a learning process. But um, we hope that today we can help you out just a little bit. Yeah. So, so what was the question? Okay. You so to the ask first me? question that we had is when, and we all have setbacks. What do you do when you come fully aware and conscious that you've had a setback? How do you move forward? What's your plan to move forward to get back on track? 
Okay. Great but, question. Okay, well that's the, that's probably that's probably the easiest question I ever really had. Yeah, really. So first of all, um, on Ron's Keto Cafe, I don't uh, sugarcoat anything. I tell her straight up, like it is, and what you can expect. When you're having a bad day, uh, you're not really having a bad day because you got to plant your feet on the ground and you can thank the good Lord that you got to see the day, first of all. And if you are having a bad day, like uh, when I, over the three year period that I've been involved with the low carb weight loss, Keto, Carnivore, Keto Bore, Ronnie Bore, uh, I've, done, I've done everything. Um, I've never given up, but I've never given in. I've given in many, many times, and, ma and many times I've given in, and, and but I've never given up. So what? It, when I'm having a really bad, say like a month, even say okay, so I need to get myself back on track because unfortunately we have some things that happen in our life, like our situation. We had we had a flood. My wife was Donna was in the hospital for a few days during that time. I had a really bad two, almost almost a whole month of September, and, and I, I I picked up a few pounds. I'm not going to make no excuse excuse for it. It's 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 real. So what I do to get back on track, I says, okay, I gotta have a plan. Well, what, what's my plan? I write it down on a piece of paper. Well, what do I want to do for a challenge for the month of October? So for the month of October, we're going walking at least a half a mile. I mean, a half an hour every day. And, and uh, my goal is personally is to walk at least 50 miles for the month of October. The first week, I usually do uh, egg fasting for two or three days, and that helps me to get my body back into ketosis. Now, for those guys and gals who don't know what the egg uh, fast is I would just suggest doing your homework but it's pretty easy it's just basically eggs butter and cheese and for every egg you have you have one ounce of cheese and one ounce of butter you can have they recommend that you're doing that one egg in the morning at least a half an hour when you wake up in the morning um, and uh, you can have any keto approved condiments and uh, you can have coffee it's not recommended that you have sugar in it in that but I, again like just says many on her videos you do you you mm -hmm. I'm a grown man you might be a grown adult do what feels right for you we can't tell you what to do but if you feel as if you have to have your, your like with me in the morning I can't live without my half and half cream and I have to have my splendor in the morning I don't use splendor I use a monk fruit in the morning for my choice of my sweetener and uh, that's what I've always used now and uh, but that's how I fix my coffee up to start my day uh, now I, I get up early in the morning like this morning I got up at 2 30 I've been up since 2 30 in the morning and I'm and, and I'm like that it, it doesn't make any difference if I go to bed at 6 at night 10 at night 1 in the morning I, I'm up at that hour because I'm so used to getting up it, if I sleep longer than that, it's, it's, to me, it's a bonus. But uh, typically, when when I'm having a bad day or a bad month, if I want to really get back on track to get my body into ketosis, that's how I get back on track. I typically would do an egg fast, but I will caution you, when you have an egg fast like that, if you eat a lot of eggs like I do, you may start turning into a chicken. You may start growing feathers. <laughs> I believe that's a feather. And, and, you, and, you, and you may start chuckling in the morning, so just be aware of that. Yeah. Okay, Keto Dad, how about you? Um, if I get off track, um, fasting works for me. Um, not just an egg fast, but a complete fast, just water, coffee, tea, um, for a 24-hour period kind of gets me reset, and that works for me. Yeah, and, and I, and what, to, to relate what Tom said, I always fast. I, do, I don't usually start eating until 11, 11.30 in the morning, and, and I've done that since day one. I tried doing the OMAD one meal a day, and I found that to be really tough, although that's kind of easy because you can figure out what your macros is all in one meal and be done with it. But really, at the end of the day, you're going to be hungry at 8, 9 o'clock at nighttime because you're not eating enough over the course of your day. So I, I typically will have a couple of meals a day, and I do a 16-8 fast. That's what, mm -hmm. I, that's what I've been most successful at, yeah. And for me, I pretty much do the 16-8 like I've done that forever pretty right, much. Right, right. But if I'm if I feeling like I'm derailing or something and I you know, the first thing I do is consciously say, I'm not beating myself up for this, mm -hmm. okay? Because life moves forward. I move forward no matter what's behind me. So that's the first thing I do. I don't beat myself up. The second thing I do is but I do give myself a serious talking to and um this and then I also pretty much on those days if I want to get if I, depending on how derailed I am, I don't get derailed very much or very often. Maybe one meal, I, that's just not how I live. Um, but for me, I'll just maybe take a day and only have one light meal that day. Similar to a fast, but my fast may include, because fasting has many 
dimensions. My fast may be typically just tea in the morning, obviously water and electrolytes throughout the day, and if I'm really at a point where I'm feeling hunger, um, I might do a coffee with cream and maybe even some uh, uh, added protein or collagen. That would be typical for me. And then maybe at the end of the day, not too late, I will go ahead and have a meal, a light meal. So that's how it works for me. And then if I do that, it's like my body knows if I'm doing that, okay, we're back on it. Right, that's that's right, what right, works right. for me. And in the last 15 years or so, I've never fluctuated more than three or four pounds. It's just, I don't do that. I, it's not, I'm, this is the way I live. This is who I am. So I pretty much stay on, on task all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah that, so. that makes pretty much sense there. And uh, the other thing I wanted to uh, mention too, before we go on to the next question is, um, so when I first got involved with my weight loss journey, I, I got permission from my doctor. We were telling you, guess his mom that I was going to have weight loss surgery like she did and I was going to have the lap band surgery too because that was my choice and my uh, my my uh, my goal and in the end when I uh, I really thought about it and my mom begged me not to have the surgery done because she had a lot of complications over the years with her stomach and, and so I honored my mom and I go well, what's the solution and I said I want you to get involved with some type of a weight loss program and do some research and I came across keto and then I did Weight Watchers and a Jenny Craig's and all that stuff there, and none of them really worked for me as well as keto did. And then it went off a bit for a little while. And then before we did the surgery, we were going to get the surgery, I decided to go on keto, and then I came across Keto Rewind. And what I loved about Jess and uh, Kyle is that the whole family basically yes. was doing keto at the time. And, uh, and, and Jess and I were almost really at the, almost for the same height and the same weight. And that wasn't my heaviest. My heaviest was 400, over 400 pounds when I married Donna. I got wow. photographs. I was that big. I mean, I'm surprised. I, 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 I'm so blessed that I did, 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 went on a weight loss journey because I would not be here today talking oh, about it. Not. You know, probably you know, you know, because I was heading into. I had a little bit about me. I was diagnosed with bipolar depression. I had sleep apnea. I had lipidemia in my right leg, and my other leg. And all the other conditions that come along with being obese, and, and uh, all that, when I lost the weight, all of that went away. I had, I'm not ashamed to admit this now, and I can openly talk about it. There was one point in my life I was, I almost committed suicide over this, because I was that bad, and, and they, they kept me in the hospital for a couple of days because they were worried about me, you know, you know. And I said this, you know, I that, and all this time I became spiritually connected to my faith and, and, and what I wanted to do to lose weight and whatever and how to go about approaching that. Because, you know, as you guys might know this, um, as a, as for me growing up, I was always picked on because of my weight. Kids would call me fat, so and so sure pretty much Things just done the same. Then. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, we were poor, and that's how we, you know, I'm not blaming anybody. The bottom line is, I put the food in my mouth, and I and I ate the food. But I learned over the years to overcome my emotions and my in uh, in my self thought. And, uh, you know, I, I can't yep. thank Jess enough and, you know, uh, Deborah and Tom for coming down here and coming all the way down from New Hampshire to meet me. We always, we wanted to get together again for quite a while now. We finally were able to meet. And Jess, your mom's a sweetheart, by the way, and so is your dad. And we uh, we always, we speak the same language, so we're right, we're, we're right on the same page as a, where we need to be, where we need to be with life events. So we're right, we're right there. And uh, be that as it said, I'll let... Deborah to say what? What's the next question that she wanted to ask me? The next question that this one comes directly from Jess <clears throat> because I think she's going through some of these things now. Um, do you, your opinion after having experienced living in ketosis with a ketogenic lifestyle, do you think it is a forever sustainable lifestyle or if once you reach your goal point, would you then make go to switch maybe up to a a low carb lifestyle, assuming that no matter what, from this day forward, you're always going to watch I, your carbs. <laughs> I can answer that. That's, that's kind of an easy one too. Okay, it's a so good question. yes, it is, but it's it's not really that bad. The answer. So okay, so we got to okay, go pause for a minute. We got a UPS guy coming by. I see, I dropping a package off. Okay, because we're outside. This is really live, and this is what really goes on in the true world. Okay, so. Um, I've been, 
the first year when I hit my one year anniversary, I went down 100 pounds. My second year anniversary, I was at 150 pounds. Now in my third year anniversary on August 17th, I'm still down 145 pounds. And I continue to hold that weight now up to today. And um, getting back to the question that just asked me, yes, it is sustainable if you want it bad. It depends how bad you want it. Okay. Now I've, I've tried carnivore, I tried keto, I tried the Jenny Craig's. Uh, they're all marvelous plans, but you have to. In the, at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for you. And you have to, and like I told you guys many times on Justice videos and the great shirts and the merchandise that she puts out. You do you is the best advice that I it can give somebody because you gotta solid. do what's right for you. You can't, you can't listen. Don't listen to anybody. Anybody else said do what's right for you. You know, you know, and I, I can't stress that enough. You know, because we are all unique. What works for one person right. may not work for another because we are unique. Now, now I will add to that that I don't do keto 100 percent of the time. I do have cheat days. My I am calling cheat days is run, they're, they're run days. If I have enough macros left over at the end of the day, and if, or if I know I'm going to go off plan for one day, then then I'll, I'll I'll ease up on the next day, and that's how I've been very successful. But if you're having a bad day and you eat stuff like that, you know the foods that you're not supposed to have. Don't tear yourself up and say the heck with it. I'm not going to do this no more because you know it's it's so simple. Just start over the next day, the next moment. You don't have to say, well, geez, it's Wednesday and I'm going to eat garbage food the rest of the week, and then Monday I'm going to start all <laughs> over I again. Want to. Yeah, 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 you know, I, I mean, I can't stress that enough, but guys. I, I mean, you, you know, I, I look at what happened to me. We had the flood. Donna was in the hospital. I lost all the winter stuff, and I, I had to get a new car. So, so don't, you, you know, you know, look what I went through, and and and, and uh, I'm back on track and I'm fine, you know. But that, that's what I wanted to just say that um, it, it, that that whatever weight loss plan you decide that what works right for you. It, it is a success. Uh, it is uh, now. Now I'm having it this. Uh, it's, it's, it's maintainable for you guys because I, I have tongue twisted with different words and uh, <laughs> you, you know and uh, it's just the way I was as a kid growing up. The with pronunciations is when uh, getting off topic for a minute there. My friend Mary and I we did a TV show for the city of Lemister for about a year and I won documentary awards for that. And I used to always have troubles getting out words, and she used to always try to help me to pronunciate the words properly, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. So it, it was just funny, you know. You know but uh, yeah, but uh, that's a, just a neither here or there, you know. But yeah, I would. That's my best advice I can give you for those two questions. All right, how about you? I didn't have any questions. Yeah, she didn't, she yeah. Didn't do you think keto or low carb? What is oh, what oh, is life the sustainable? Same question to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it's it's very sustainable. Keto or low carb? Um, low carb. I okay. think after you get to your goal, we'll just keep an eye on your carbs. Um, we'll we'll uh, keep you at the right weight. Okay. Yeah. And and for me, I would say, and I'm pretty strict and rigid about this. If you have more than ten pounds to lose, and this is the path you've chosen, should we wait? <laughs> no, go ahead. I guess, no, that's fine. This is, this, is, this is live from downtown yeah. Lemister. So. All right, so if you have more than 10 pounds to lose and you have chosen the keto or low-carb lifestyle, you have chosen to monitor macros to help you reach your goal, I think if there's a, that 10-pound window, you don't need to be low-carb. You need to be strict keto. The bulk of the weight that you're going to lose is with a... a you need to have parameters to work within and I think keto and those macros are sustainable in your weight loss mode. I think there's a journey here that starts with the realization that you have a weight problem or a health problem uh, the, and then the actualization is when you make a plan to reach a particular goal that's your individual goal. How are you going to reach that goal? If you choose keto, then you got to be all in, okay? You don't put one foot in the water and take it out this week and try to do something else. You're all in, in my opinion, until you've reached your goal. Doesn't mean there might be little adjustments or tweaks along the way, but you're in. And once you've reached the goal, which is pretty much where I am, I don't really, I mean, yeah, everybody wants to be 10 pounds thinner, but I don't actively try to lose weight. 
but I do actively try to maintain, that's where the low carb comes in for me, where we try to stay um, 30 carbs or less, which I have strict keto in the weight loss mode, should be 20 or less, but we try to maybe go up to 30, but that doesn't mean that two or three days a week, I'm not up to 50 or 80, and I still maintain my weight. That to me is life sustaining because now that's my future, to live basically low carb, but if it got away from me, then for sure I'd be back into the street, the strict keto and that particular phase, but I'm not in that weight loss mode so I think once you've reached your, your goal, you can be a little more flexible. And that just makes life a little more easy to tolerate every single day. I mean, if I woke up every day knowing I couldn't have a potato chip, uh, check out, this isn't working for me. But if I have reached my goal and I have been successful with it, yeah, I can have a potato chip. I can have a bag of chips every now and then if I want, you know, the lunch ones. Um, and I'm cool with it because that is my window, and I call it my window of opportunity. But I plan everything. I'm a real, as you all know, I'm a real planner. Mm -hmm. So if I know that tomorrow is going to be this, this, and this, I also know what the day after is going to be. And it's not going to have this, this, and this in it. So you, you got to learn to balance that, I think, between yeah. keto and low carb. You need to balance that in your life depending on what phase you're in your journey. Right. Well, that, that's what works for me. Yeah, and uh, over the course of my journey, how I managed to lose a lot of my weight, I, I went walking every day. Yes. So in the early days of 2020, when most of us became couch potatoes, mm -hmm. I did just the opposite. When I decided that I wanted to do a journey, I, and I call it a journey, it's, it, oh, and, it, and it's not a diet. When you, the term diet seems oh. like a, it seems like you can't have anything, so right. I, I call right. it a journey, and it's a, and right. it's a lifestyle. But it's a life, it's a life changing event. So I started walking every day. I was doing three to five miles every day, and I'm a photographer for the city, and I, I don't, I'm, a, I'm paid photographer for the city, but I, I enjoy it, and I enjoy talking to people. They, everybody here knows me as Mr. Ron from my Mr. And I. I uh, I can't walk down the street without somebody pulling over and talking to me, starting a conversation with me, even when I go shopping or whatever. I try sometimes to get away from the city and go walking, and they still know who I am. And <laughs> it's, it's fun in some ways, but it, you know, when it's preventing from me what I want to do, which is the accomplishment of going walking and getting the exercise to lose the weight. When you're shopping, and, do they look in your cart? Yeah, actually, they do. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I feel do. like that happens all the time. I went down to all these the other day there, and, and I had been out all these in ages, yeah. and I forgot that all these you have to put a quarter in the carriage to begin inside there yeah. and this, I, the guy gave me the carriage that was out there because I had forgotten and, and then uh, I was going to give him the quarter on the way out he goes no that's alright and so uh -huh. but next time when I go back to all these I got to realize I got to bring my own bags because they don't bag it for you like they right. do at the other store right. and I think that's why I didn't go but when I went to all these I didn't realize that it, boy I, I actually saved almost a hundred dollars as opposed to going to my regular store market basket but because right. uh, and they got a lot of different stuff at all mm -hmm. these it, every, like every store does you know I bought some of those egg like egg, egg life wraps yes. those are really great to make tacos and stuff like that and uh you know, a little. I, I made many pizzas with those and some other things. I want to start making some more of that stuff there. So, yeah. So I, I've experienced you know, the same thing. Like yeah. I also shop at the basket, and uh, at least half a dozen times, people will just like will turn the corner and they'll say, "I know you," and I'm yeah. like. I don't know you and yeah. then they know aren't yeah. you and I'm like yeah that's me and then I after they we have our chat and they walk away and I go god are the potato chips in the basket or yes. not <laughs> well it's funny it's, it's oh well it's funny Deborah busted. said that because uh, <laughs> this past year I was filming the uh, 4th of July parade up in Fishburg uh -huh. somebody was just walking down the, you know, she was actually part of the parade and she came up to me. She goes, hey, Ron's Keto Cafe. And she came up and she gave me a hug. I just wanted to thank you. And I said, for what? Because you helped me lose 100 pounds. And I says, okay. So th this is why I do what I do. Yeah. My channel is not quite yet monetized, but that's okay because yeah. it wasn't really intended for that purpose. It was just to put myself out there mm -hmm. publicly to have my best chance to lose weight that you guys have been supporting me. Keeps you accountable. Me. 
and, and I enjoy interviewing people. I enjoy talking to people. They enjoy talking to me. And and, I, it's, it's, and if it's we can a, help, you know, you know, yeah, if we what, can help, that's you know, we're all here to help one another. Right. You, you know, we're not here to bust you because you're overweight, and whatever. We all we all been there, guys. You, mm-hmm. you, you know, and, and again, the heaviest I ever weighed in my life was over 400 pounds when I married Donna. I mean, Donna saw something in me that. Maybe another woman wouldn't have saw because a lot a lot of women go for the looks, not what's inside a person's heart, and that's what I go by. What's in a person's heart? I don't go by looks, you know, and I, and 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 I, and I don't judge anybody, you know, because I I was telling Debra, um inside the coffee shop that um, when I do the charity on Friday nights, and not just the charity, I see a lot of overweight people, and you can't judge. You don't know what got them to that circumstance, mm-hmm. you, you know. Maybe there's something inside of them that they're depressed or whatever. I, I don't judge it, you know. But at, at some point in someone's at some point in someone's life, you're going to say, "I've had enough of this, and I need help." And yeah. that's where I'm here to help you. If you need my help, just ask. And people like us, I feel, are compelled. Yeah. Like, like us, generic. But like, I'm a registered nurse. I'm also a Reiki master. I I help. I help people so we're compelled yeah. I, you know and and you don't people sometimes misinterpret your mm. your um encounters with them but for the most right. part if anybody just opens that door for us it just we're there because we want to share what worked for us and we want you to feel as good as we feel yeah and like to tell you that there's there's a way there's a way to get to that place. There's yeah. a way to get there. And if we can help, great. I mean, um, like the Keto Rewind has, I'm sure you're the uh, Keto Rewind and Support channel on Facebook. The, the community that we have built there mm-hmm. is, um, of course, I'm a mama bear. I don't think I won't get after you. But the community of support that we have there, where we share recipes, we share inspiration. Right. Um, Ron puts his daily inspiration there to keep us all focused. Give us a reason to move forward today. That's a really good community. That's a really good group that we have. And it's supportive. And a lot of people go through this and don't have the support. Like Ron's wife isn't um, strictly keto, but she's there to support him every step of the way. We happen to be lucky in our family. There's 12 of us. And we are all, all supporting each other and living the same lifestyles. So we see how even just within our family you know like we might see somebody doing something a little bit off that day we don't we don't judge because that's just we're there to support each other right. in their own personal journeys so and on that note this yeah. has been a great journey yeah. down to see you yeah, we've had a great you. a great great meeting yeah and i would just mention something to follow <laughs> up what deborah said um so when i first started my weight loss journey of that year was my sister's 60th birthday and it was really hard for me because they're all leaning my sister makes this great cake <laughs> like it was all chocolate and then the white frosting and you know with the jimmies and all that stuff there and, it goes, and they're the all leading, they're, they're all leading all that stuff and i goes on just kind of respect me and i all i had was a little bit of the roast beef and some uh, my sister had some asparagus or something like that and Did you put jimmies on the asparagus no, 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 <laughs> no, i would have uh, no but but i, I just uh, you know, they, they they understood what was oh, important yeah. to me. You know, my Support. help, my, my help. You know, but it was t- it was tough though. though that, oh, that it's, year. it is. Some days are yeah, really yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you got choices, guys. So even when you go to the restaurant, you can get a burger without a bun now. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of restaurants are doing that. Oh, know? it's way different now yeah, than yeah. it was like 15 years ago when I first yeah. started doing this. Yeah. The products that are out there that you can you know to be uh, creative in your yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Like the recipes, but, the menus. It's, when Deborah was talking about products, so I would caution guys: just be careful on the products because not everything just because it say keto and they're not all right. Keto. Read your labels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And this, so it's, that's so yes. important because uh, yes. you know even uh, some stuff that's marked sugar free, it's yes. not always sugar free. I think I put one post on on the uh, the Facebook channel, and there was the, the government has allowed forty eight words to be used to describe white cane sugar. Yeah. 48 deceptions are out there. You need to learn those deceptions so that when you do read the labels, you know that you're, you, you have to make the conscious decision whether that goes in your basket or not. But there are so many ways that they, they're allowed to manipulate their verbiage. 
on ingredients. Yeah, because so you got to know your stuff. I remember that Deborah, you put a photograph out. I can remember about a month or so ago on Keto Rewind. It, it had to do with the sugars, and it was like you had ketchup. Yes. The regular oh, nice yes. ketchup. Oh yes. How much is in each the must, one? The, the, the French is yes. mustard, and how much was each one? Yes. And they had, they, she had exam and, and like the sugary sodas. Yes. And how much was always? Spaghetti one. sauce. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got It kind of blew my mind how much we really we were eating over the years. Yes. But why we why we got the way we got? Yes. You know, yes. You know, you know. It's it it's just a, they slipped it in on yeah, us. Yeah. And yeah. You know, it's like you got to you've got to spend a little time on you, and you've got to spend a little time learning what is good and what works best for you to reach your goals. Right. Because the goals are attainable. Yeah, and, and again, I'd like to thank Tom and uh, Deborah for coming down and spending some Welcome. time with me. And uh, and I want to thank Ron. He bought the coffee today. <laughs> okay, thank you. I asked him if they wanted a treat, and they said no, Jess. So you know, good, you're good to go there, but. Um, the next time we get together, Donna and I are going to come yes. down to their house and yes. maybe we could do another interview together. Yeah, we could do there. an interview from the deck yeah, overlooking yeah, the, the yeah, lake yeah, there. That'd, that'd be kind of fun. Nice. And I still, maybe some, some of you will invite me and Donna to go camp there for a day. You yeah, know, you know? <laughs> it'd be fun. You know, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go float in the lake. Now, I, I wanted to do the mountain climbing. But next, oh. the, the January, I'm having my hip down on my oh. left hip. So that'll be healed by then. And I still plan on doing skydiving and I hope to do some bungee jumping at some point. I'm a risk taker. I but just, you know, I have a question know. on that. When you when you go out and do your walking and stuff, uh -huh. do you find it's not just physically benefiting you? Does it doesn't it clear your head? Well, uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'm frame. glad you I'm glad you asked me that. So when I go walking, it does any negativity that I have in my head, I, I free it. I get it free. Mm -hmm. I listen to a lot of spiritual uh, uh, healing uh, videos, and mm -hmm. I, I uh, watch a lot of that stuff and. I have my own playlist that I go walking. It helps me mo get motivated, and, I, and uh, yeah, I'm just in the open field. I, so I it like my, clears you, yeah, so have, you can put the good stuff in. I have my Spotify playlist that I listen to when I'm walking, and it helps 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 me to, to like mm -hmm. get going and get walking, and yeah, it, it's, it's really fun. And, and as I walk, I take photographs, I take video, and, and I put, and I and I talk video. Uh, I'll do like a maybe a five minute thing or if I got something that I, I'm thinking about what, what would be a good motivational video even if it's only a two minute video I'll typically will fulfill my edit and put it up on the channel later on down yeah. the road yeah 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 that's Great. what I've been doing so we all done or we I think we're done. done okay so again I want to thank Tom and Deborah and thank you Jess for inviting me in, into uh, your Facebook support group and uh all that you've done for the community and for the people that you've been helping to lose like weight like me. Which sometimes what I do with Jess is what I do is I'll go on uh say I'll type in keto rewind to say I'm on week one sixty four to come my next post for that uh, update. I'll go on to your week one sixty four and I try to see where <laughs> you were about your weight where I am oh, or I my weight that. to see whether or not we're on the same Oh that's great. We're on the same page. But it just cracked me up because I think it was last summer or something like that. She had her weight really down and when she went into the camp for that summer she picked up about twenty or thirty pounds. The so campfires it, 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 do it, it, it does every yeah, but night. she probably ate too many marshmallows. <laughs> the campfires so, are hard. So um <laughs> it's a party of twenty every night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially with, yeah, and if you're drinking alcohol too, that's oh, going to pack do in that, a few pounds. No, that's going no, to pack in, no, that, that's going to pack no. in a few more pounds too. But I, but I get it. it. That's just all part of life that you have to overcome yep. that at some point. You, you know, and just yep. you know, it's 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 a reality. You just you know, you just you deal with it. But you don't you don't have any pity party. You just move right. on and say you know, okay, that's it. Now I get to get back on track. The, the answer to your first question: We do an egg fast for a few days. Get back in the ketosis. Feel good about ourselves and just move on yep. and decide what you're going to do. Go back to keto and if you're really careful, count the carbs and be down 20 net carbs. And if you keep it that way, you're going to stay in ketosis. You'll be burning your fat for fuel and you'll be right back on track in no time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Make a goal, reach the goal, make a new goal. Yeah, yes, yes. Keep you going, moving forward. So without that, with, with all that said, uh, thank you for coming along. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and be watching for the next update. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, thank you so much, guys. That was yeah, such fun. That was I love it. Now let's make sure I recorded all that. <laughs> I hate to have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs>